Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi really had no choice but to impeach Donald Trump. He got caught red-handed trying to conspire with a foreign nation to commit serious crimes against the United States. Impeachment was simply the right, and necessary, thing to do. But she nonetheless took Trump's knees out by impeaching him. Just hours after doing so, she's managed to stick it to him again. During her press conference tonight, Nancy Pelosi was asked when and if she'll send the articles of impeachment to the Senate. She responded by saying that she'll have to keep an eye on whether the Republican-controlled Senate is planning to hold a fair trial. She read aloud a recent self-incriminating quote from Mitch McConnell for emphasis. In so doing, Pelosi left Trump and McConnell in the position of needing to make impeachment trial concessions to her if there's going to be an impeachment trial at all. Now she's revealing how she's going to do it. Pelosi and the House have decided that they won't bother to name impeachment trial managers until at least January, and possibly later, according to late-breaking report from Politico Tonight. With no impeachment managers, there can't be an impeachment trial. This mechanism means that the Senate is forced to sit on its hands indefinitely, and Mitch McConnell can't give Donald Trump the Senate trial acquittal that Trump so badly wants. We don't know that Mitch McConnell even wants there to be a Senate impeachment trial, considering the number of ways that it could go wrong for Republican senators in 2020. But we are certain that Donald Trump wants there to be a trial, so he can brag about the acquittal. This means Trump will be placing pressure on McConnell to hold a trial, even as Pelosi is forcing McConnell to put on something closer to a fair trial if there's going to be one at all. We told you Pelosi held all the cards on impeachment. Now she's slyly playing them.